good evening friends and i should also say good morning friends and good afternoon friends as today for this virtual lecture we have audience from australia in the east to us in the west this live webcast today has given us an opportunity to remember lalit on 4th august his birthday in the audience today we have some of the past speakers also i can just recount a few mr julio ribero who had given the second lecture mr deepak pare mr vijay nambia rakesh mohan from usa and i'm i must thank them for being here with us friends it is my privilege and honor this evening to introduce mr n chandrashekaran chairman tata sons on the occasion of the 26th lalit doshi memorial lecture one more star will join this evening in the galaxy of speakers who have delivered the past lectures in the lalit doshi memorial series lecture series i have known mr chandrashekar for many years but we came quite close during the period 2016 to 2020 i was a colleague of his on the central board of the reserve bank of india interaction during this period brought us closure as friends luckily there was no social distancing at that time during those four years i had a close view of his leadership qualities his ability to convince others his unassuming nature and above all i was struck by his humility chandra therefore with your permission i will take the liberty to switch between mr n chandrashekaran and just chandra as appropriate on the sidelines of one of these rbi board meetings early this year i requested chandra to deliver the 26th lalit doshi memorial lecture and he very readily agreed very graciously you all have the brief cv of chandra as a part of the invitation card it is my normal practice therefore to narrate the lesser known personal aspects about the speaker based on net search and based on my personal interaction with him chandra was born in an agricultural family in the village of mohanur in namakkal district of tamil nadu as a child chandra and his brothers would walk 3 kilometers every day to their tamil medium government school for his senior secondary exams he switched to an english medium school after earning a bachelor of science degree in applied sciences from the coimbatore institute of technology chandra returned home and contemplated taking up agriculture as a profession after four or five months he realized that he was not cut out for agriculture and considered becoming a chartered accountant unfortunately by then he had missed the ca admissions for the academic year and therefore he decided to apply for a masters in computer application from the regional engineering college of trichy in 1986 little did he suspect that this decision would go on to change his life in the final year of his masters program he took up a project with tata consulting services tcs and never looked back starting off as a software programmer and rising to the helm of the company where he learned the ropes of the it business it was here that chandra was groomed under the watchful eyes of his mentor mr s ramadurai the then ceo of tcs with his mentor's guidance and his innate business acumen chandra's journey in tcs was on the fast track in september 2007 he was co-opted on the tcs board and named the chief operating officer of the company and soon thereafter in october 2009 he succeeded mr 
Ramadurai, a CEO and managing director of TCI, at the age of 46, becoming one of the youngest CEOs in the Tata Group. He joined the board of Tata Sons in October 2016 and was appointed chairman in January 2017. And for Chandra, the track now was not for a sprint, but it was for a marathon. Many of you may be aware that Chandra enjoys participating in marathons. He has run 12 full marathons and more than 20 half marathons as running is his passion. Often he has mentioned how running has made him calmer, more observant and taught him to persevere. Interestingly, the marathon runner Chandra is also a cricket fan and often uses cricket terms and metaphors while setting targets for the teams working with him. He learned about team building and customer management without attending any management school and achieved that entirely through his work that took him to different projects and different places. An affable, unassuming and approachable leader, he has a phenomenal capacity for remembering people and their names. With his personal touch, he remains connected with employees. His mentor, Mr. Ramadurai, once said that the ability to build world-class teams and value systems was Chandrasekharan's biggest strength. So to complete my introduction, I asked Chandra about the several awards he has won and requested him to name one or two which he would like to be mentioned today. Humble as he is, he said, Bharat, each of these awards has its own context and all awards are equal and they signify recognition. He very gently declined to give a ranking in his long list of awards. Friends, this is Chandra. In 2019, Chandra co-authored a book with Rupa Purshottavan, the Chief Economist and Head of Policy Advocacy Tata Sons, titled Brigital Nation Solving Technology People's Problems. The book addresses the aspect of transformation to a digital world in meeting India's challenges. And there are several anecdotal references. Chandra, a few months after your book was published came the pandemic, which no one could have visualized. By choosing the topic, India's opportunity in the decade of 2020, you have chosen the period beginning the crisis of the pandemic and you are looking at the next decade. In a way, what you visualized in your book, Brigital Nation, will now get accelerated if we can get our act right. I am tempted here to share one of the excellent quotes about Chandra, which is from his eldest brother N. Srinivasan. His brother said, he will invest commitment and time to achieve anything that he sets out to do. Today, Chandra has set out to deliver the 26th Lalit Doshi Memorial Lecture. And we know that with his commitment, the best is ahead of us this evening. Chandra, we now look forward to your lecture on India's opportunities in the decade of 2020. Thank you.